A Bay Area animal control officer saves the day for a Springer Spaniel stuck in a pile of beach boulders. Christian Kafton tells us the dog disappeared while on a beach outing with her owners. Mm -hmm. Just about everyone knows that dogs love the beach, but about a week and a half ago, a runner on the beach heard a dog in distress, muffled barking from these rocks on Ocean Beach. He started looking at all the crevices and he saw the dog looking right up to him. Carlos Ortega is an animal control officer in San Francisco and says he got the call about the buried dog from dispatch. Once he got to the beach, the first obstacle was simply finding her buried under tons of stone. Ortega was finally able to pinpoint her location with the help of a photo sent by the runner. And I just started looking in every crevice in that general area. And about another 15 minutes later, the dog looking right up at me. Didn't, wasn't making a sound. I would have never found her if I wasn't looking in every single crevice. The next challenge was just as daunting as finding her. The dog had somehow gotten herself into a tiny hole. At first, Ortega tried to use a stick to lever the boulder off. But in the end, with the tide coming in and time running short, he resorted to brute strength. I just used my hands. I bent down, and I was able to lift it just enough to where I can push it off and push it down the cliff. And there she was, Gwen, but still terrified, not moving. And I just like slowly picked her up. I just wanted to make sure that her back legs were functioning, that she wasn't injured anywhere. And they just gently put her on the rocks and she stood up. And the first thing she did was came up and gave me a lick. Yeah, she gave me a nice big kiss on the beard. We made it! <laughs> Ortega says Gwen, the Springer Spaniel, was scared but unharmed, and that once he was able to get her back to the truck, he was able to scan her microchip and reunite her with her family, who'd been searching for her after she disappeared on the beach that morning. Ortega says this rescue, reuniting Gwen with her family, is a moment he savors. The look on his face when he saw Gwen before he knew anything was priceless to me. And when I actually told him where Gwen was at and showed him the pictures, he was just beyond himself. Ortega says part of the reason this story has the happy ending that it does is because Gwen was microchipped and her microchip information was up to date. He says that is critically important. He also says it's important for pet owners to make sure that their pets have collars on, and he recommends putting an air tag or some other kind of locator on that collar for cases just like this. In San Francisco, Christian Kafton, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Well, glass, she's okay. Yeah.